So now I want to go over a tricky example of dividing decimals. Here we have 26 being divided by 2.5. So first I'll just set this up using long division. We have 26 on the inside being divided by 2.5 on the outside. And the first thing we need to do, and I wrote this for you in green, we need to get rid of the decimal in the outside number. So we need to get rid of this decimal in this number of 2.5. So I'm going to move the decimal as far to the right as possible. So the only thing we have to do for this particular example is just move it one unit to the right. And whatever you do to the outside number, you also have to do to the inside number. But notice how the inside number doesn't have a decimal. So how are we supposed to move a decimal to the right if we don't have a decimal in the inside number? Well, this can be solved quite easily. We can just add a trailing zero. 26 is exactly the same as 26.0. So now we have a decimal in the inside number. And since we moved our outside decimal one unit to the right, now we can move our inside decimal also one unit to the right. So after we move our decimal one unit to the right, our 2.5 becomes 25. And after we moved our decimal one unit to the right, our 26.0 becomes 260. So 26.0 divided by 2.5 is exactly the same as 260 divided by 25. So now I'm just going to give myself a little bit more space and erase this. And I'll move this a little farther up. So now we can divide this using normal long division. 25 goes into 2 zero times since 25 is bigger than 2. So we have to move on to the next digit. 25 goes into 26 one time. 1 times 25 is just 25. If you subtract 25 from 26, we are left with 1. And we got to bring down our 0. 25 goes into 10 zero times since 25 is bigger than 10. 0 times 25 is just 0. So notice how we still have a remainder of 10 in this problem. And since we still have a remainder that's not 0, we need to keep on going. So what I'm going to do is, is add a trailing 0. 260 is exactly the same as 260.0. So now we can continue with this problem. We need to bring our 0 down. 25 goes into 100 four times. 4 times 25 is exactly 100. 100. And now we have a remainder of 0, so we can stop. But we still need to place our decimal point. Our decimal point just goes directly up, so it goes in between the 0 and the 4. So now we have a final answer of 10.4. So here are some more videos with some more example problems related to the video you just watched. I really hope you're finding my tutorials helpful. So until my next video, I will see you later.